Hi, Sean Precision LED here. Today we have a 2009 Mercedes C350. I'll be showing you how to perform an upgrade of the interior halogen bulbs to LED lights. This is the easiest modification you can make on your vehicle, whether you're a first timer or a seasoned professional. Now the C-Class modification will work for all vehicles of this generation. Let's go ahead and get started. Now that we're inside the vehicle, let's go ahead and review all the lights I'll be converting from halogen to LEDs. In the front, we have two dome lights, two vanity mirror lights, a glove compartment light, two floor lights, as well as four door lights. Now on the rear, we have two map lights and one dome light. We'll also be showing you how to change out the trunk light and the license plate lights. Here we'll be showing you how to replace the two dome lights in the front overhead console. As you can see, we've already gone ahead and changed out the halogen bulb on the passenger side. I'll show you how to do it on the driver's side. We'll be using the flat end of the straighter knife tool and wedging between the plastic and the headliner. Now you have to use a lot of force prying down on these uh, covers. There are four clips, one here, one here, one here, one here. And they're very shallow clips, uh, but they're very tight. Just uh, use a lot of force and try to just wedge it out. You don't have to be afraid of breaking the clips because as you'll see when I take it out, they're very shallow. And two on the inside. Let's go ahead and replace the halogen bulb. Just pull it out, make sure it's not too hot. And replace it with the LED bulb. Let's go ahead and test the bulb, make sure it works. If it doesn't, take it out, turn around, and plug it back in. To replace the cover, we simply insert with the end farthest from me first, put one side in, and snap the other side in. Do the same with the top. And there we go. And here I'll be showing how to remove and replace the bandy mirror light on the driver's side. We'll be using the flat end of the straight and knife tool, just wedge between the headliner and the bandy mirror housing. You press on the clip, twist and turn out the bulb base, and remove the bulb. Let's go ahead and replace it with the T10. Test to make sure the bulb works. Remember, LEDs are polarity specific, so they don't work. Take it out, turn around, and plug it in the other way. and reinstall the housing, twist to lock, wire end in first, push up. Here we'll be showing how to remove and replace the glove compartment light using the straighter knife tool, the pointed end of it. Just go ahead and wedge the pointed end into the indentation and gently pry it out. Quickly depress the clip release the ball base and twist and turn to take it out. And the ball may be hot so go ahead and use a Kleenex or a towel to pull it out or wait and insert back the LED. Test to make sure it works as LEDs are polarity specific. You can see it works. So go ahead and reinstall the clear plastic housing, match up the grooves, turn and twist to lock, and reinstall the housing. To replace the door light, we will be using the pointed wedge tool along with the serrated knife tool. Use the flat end of the serrated knife to create space at the top, and run the rounded edge of the pointed wedge tool across the top to pop off the cover. Release the clip and twist to remove the bulb base to access the halogen bulb. The bulb will be hot, so use a Kleenex or towel to pull the bulb out of the socket. Insert the new LED into the housing and plug it back in to test. If the bulb does not turn on, reverse the bulb and reinsert to change its polarity.
twist and lock the cover back on and reinsert the housing back into the door. The process is the same for all four doors on the Mercedes C-Class. Here we'll be showing how to remove and replace the halogen bulbs in the rear overhead console. As you can see, we've already gone ahead and replaced one of the map lights with the LED. Now the tools you'll be using is the serrated knife tool, the flat end of it, and the crowbar tool. Let's go ahead and just turn the lights off and insert the flat end of the serrated knife tool into the back. Just got to wedge out the four clips that are holding this housing down. And go ahead and also detach the wiring from the overhead console. And I'll show you how to remove the four clips holding down this back panel to access the bulbs. Now to access the three bulbs, we're going to remove the, uh, the back plating to this housing. There are four clips holding down the back plate of the front cover. We're using the flat end of the crowbar tool. We'll start on the side with a flat edge. Now the trick here is to use one of these sturdy corners of this crowbar tool, the sturdiest, and just get on in there and pry it out. Apply some pressure. Don't be afraid to use some force as these uh, Mercedes parts are pretty sturdy. There's one. There's two. Three and four. As you can see, there's the festoon bulb for the dome light. And the two lights are T10s for the map lights. Let's go ahead and uh, just twist to unlock and remove the map light and replace it with the LED. Now what you'll want to do before you uh, reinstall this entire housing is to test out the LEDs, make sure the polarity is correct. Let's go ahead and twist it all in and um, we'll change this bulb out as well. Just pull this clip back and pop it out. Replace it with the festoon that we have. Let's go ahead and plug it in. The wires and just to make sure the LEDs work. Now make sure this light is turned on in the front overhead console, there's a button for it. And if it doesn't work, go ahead and take it out and turn it around. And let's test the map lights. As you can see they all work. So we can go ahead and take this off and reassemble the front plate of this overhead housing. Match it up. You're gonna have to use a lot of force here to just really pop these back in. Now to replace this trunk light, we're gonna use a flat end and straight and knife tool and go ahead and just wedge it in. It doesn't work one way, wedge it in the other side. It should come out very easily. There you go. Press and pull out. Twist and turn to take out the bulb base. Make sure the bulb is not hot. It is. Grab the Phoenix and just pull it out. And replace it with the LED bulb. Make sure it tests to make sure it works. If it doesn't, take it out. And turn around and put it in the other way. Alright. Back in, twist and turn, and reinsert and push. Now the last two lights, we're going to show you how to change out. Uh, the two license plate lights here, and the second trunk light up top. And as you can see, we already changed out one of the halogen bulbs for our LED bulb. You can see the difference. 
And to access all three bulbs, we need to remove the inside cover inside this trunk. Uh, to do so, there are clips all around that you can easily remove with our crowbar tool. Let's go ahead and use that uh, divot there and wedge it in and pull it out along with the plastic cover. Let's go ahead and do that all around. Now to access and replace uh, the second trunk light, you'll want to uh, reach deep into the back here. And it's also a T10, so it's just a twist to unlock motion. It's got a twist counterclockwise. Let's pull it out. Of course, it's gonna be hot, so go ahead and, and pull it out quickly. Drop it really quick before it burns you. And put in the trusty old LED. It only works one way, so if it doesn't work, turn around and put it in the other way. Let's go ahead and just stick it back in the housing. Find that hole first and put it in. Match up the notches. Turn clockwise to lock, and you're all set. Let's take a look from the front here. And successfully replaced all three of these lights. Go ahead and just put this cover back. Replace it to the original the way it was before. That's the last one. We're all set. We've gone ahead and tested to make sure all the lights work, and they do, which means a precision LED kit is guaranteed to work for your vehicle 100%. If you have any questions or concerns, please contact us at help at precisionled.com or give us a call toll free at 1 800 840 3240, extension 4. Thanks for watching.